Kobe Bryant's commitment to the fundamentals was well documented, as were his early hours at the gym. But it, it wasn't just those early hours. It's what he did inside of those unseen hours. The basics, the footwork, the ball handling, the shooting form, over and over and over again. And people ask Kobe all the time, why, if you are the greatest player in the world, are you constantly working on the basics? And Kobe would smile and look at them and say, why do you think I am the greatest player in the world? Never, ever get bored with the basics. See, Kobe would work on something until he absolutely believed he couldn't do it wrong. Why? Because he knew that his default when things were craziest, when the game was on the line, when the other team was doing everything possible to stop him, Kobe knew that his default were his fundamentals. Now, did athleticism play a role? Absolutely. But he could never get that player on his side to make the acrobatic play unless he had the incredible first step, unless he had the timing for the crossover down. Let me ask you a question. What about your soft skills? Because those are so critical to us becoming an incredibly successful coaching leader. Now, I cannot stand the phrase soft skills, so I've adopted a new phrase, and I borrowed it from my good friend and former podcast guest, Aaron Deal of Improve It. She calls them power skills. And why are they power skills? Because they are the things that we need to do in order to do the job we need to do. And what am I talking about? We're talking about your work ethic. We're talking about creativity, your ability to connect, your ability to, to listen, to ask productive and powerful questions. The ability to go where your people are mentally, physically, and emotionally. So which of those do you need to be working on to become more fundamentally sound? Your team members need you and want you to commit to consistent and constant work on your power skills. So what are some of the things you can do? Let me ask you a couple of questions. First of all, right now, what are you reading? What are you listening to? And what are you watching? Second thing you can do is this. We talk about all the time. We tell folks you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Well, as it relates to your power skills, as it relates to your core intangibles, doing the little things, the basics, the fundamentals, who in your inner circle can pick you up? Who in your inner circle can challenge you, okay, hold you accountable, who can lead by example to help you improve? And then finally, I'm going to ask you this. Take time to really think about what the best version of you as a coaching leader looks like as it pertains to the fundamentals.